So you guys all ready for the big game Thursday? Yeah. Yes. yes We're gonna good. win that game. Yes. yes. That's, that's all right. That's good. Patrick. Patrick. Oh, we have a game this Thursday, as you might know. Oh yeah. It's nationally televised. We we just coming around trying to get the support from all the different uh, banks, companies, organizations. Oh okay. That's um something we're having for it, it's majority for like children. Here's a uh, a copy of our schedule. Okay. Um, if you like that. Um, yeah. And like I said, we're just asking for you and some of the coworkers to uh, come and support us Thursday night. It's pretty, okay. it's pretty big game for us. So. Yeah, definitely. Right, here's yeah. a couple more. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Tim. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. There you go. Here's a wristband if you'd like thank one. Thank you. Thursday night if you can make it. I'd love um, to have it. <laughs> also, we do a, a read or feed more. thing on Thursday night. <laughs> okay. For charity, we're trying to get people to bring in kind of food or a book, which should be donated to charity afterwards. So, people mention the game, people mention to bring a book or bring a can, that'd be really helpful. I mean, what's the number we have? But, you know, going around town and talking to all the people and seeing the excitement of the uh, community. What's that like? Oh, it's awesome. Whenever the whole community comes out to support and they're all excited for the game, it just makes the whole team want to play harder. Like having the support of the community, really. We have five. Thank you so much. Thank you. Exactly. I think. Well, Bring a can of food. Yeah. And children's books. We can do that. Yeah, that'd be great. We're collecting. Yeah. We're collecting cans and books to donate to the United Way Literacy Project. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Good luck. Win the game. Thank you very much. What's your name? Itson. Itson. Yes, sir. I'm Lewis. Nice to meet you. All right. Special. Okay, Patrick, good luck. Good luck. Thank you so much. We'll see you Thursday. We started doing a little window for you guys. Yeah, we saw that. We're not finished yet, so we're working on it. And the game's nationally televised. Yeah, we know. People, that that might bring a lot of people. Bring a lot of people. Do our best, guys. All right. What time to start? 8 p.m. Okay. 8 p.m. kickoff. All right. Thank you. Let's watch the Kel Kel game. So, Tina, how, how do you think tailgate's going? How, how was the planning for that? And I think it's going great. We have a large crowd. Um, I have Maggie here to help me. We're the she does everything for me at the chamber, but um, I think people are coming out. We were a little worried about the weather the t this afternoon, but it's beautiful. Um, great food, great company. So. Um, it's just so far been an enjoyable night. What do you think? Absolutely. Uh, would you care to make a prediction about who's going to win tonight? He's Who are you rooting for? The Falcons. stayed all the way. Go Falcons. Yeah. Why was it important to you for the MRDC to be involved in this tailgate tonight? Well, it's a, it's a great opportunity to get the community together, to get the business community, to see the students. Um, and it's great to support the Fairmont Falcons. What's been um, an outstanding part of this game so far for you? I think any time that you compare the, the community with university functions, specifically to this large capacity, is just a wonderful thing. And it's just wonderful to see, even with a little inclement weather, everybody who's coming out to have a good time, to support the Falcons, and really to support a bigger cause. And that's the community involvement aspect. The reason Feed is very successful tonight, and we're just ready to get on the football field and display some of that cheer. We're all going to win. It's a great day for Fairmont State. Fairmont forward. Fairmont forward.
you Absolutely. Go. Very good. Do you think the community sport tonight has been good for this game? So no, I think it's been excellent. Uh, all the coverage we've had in uh, the Times West Virginia, we need to thank them for what they've done. Uh, all the uh, TV coverage that we've had and uh, the business support that we've had throughout Fairmont has just been great. And I think it's really got the, uh, the community aware of the importance of coming out and supporting uh, our local university. What do you think of the community response tonight? Speaks for itself. Take a look. Tonight's game. I think it's fantastic. I think the opportunity for folks to get together here at Fairmont is just outstanding. I think we have a lot of great fans. Uh, the opportunity to get together before a game here in the evenings is, is tremendous. I'm just happy to be a part of it. You know, I've been a Falcon, uh, Fairmont State uh, you know, graduate, and uh, I'm going to root for the Falcons tonight. We're going to have a great game. I think it's wonderful. It shows what a community Fairmont is, and, and we come out and support our, our local teams. Now by athletic director Rusty Elliott. All hey, the preparation, Tony, what's all, going on, all the preparation, all the work. It's paying off for you tonight, huh? Oh, it's paying off. There's uh, hundreds of people that went together to do this. That uh, our maintenance guys, Adam Zundel, a lot of people went together to get this together. But man, it's paying off. Were you a little worried when you woke up this morning? You saw that pounding <laughs> rain. We all were worrying. We had a lot of work to do today, and, and uh, obviously when it's raining, it's tough to get out there and do that stuff. So we kind of sat back and uh, got everything ready to go. As soon as it slowed down a little bit, everybody hit the field running, and we got it all taken care of. And what are you working this table for tonight? Uh, this is the reading feed of people who come in, donate books and canned foods. <laughs> A Division II. Well, Fairmont State involved with the community, especially this week with this big game, national television. They got out and about in the community, try to invite folks to support the cause. Falcon Fanatic t shirts being given out and try to do their own cause in the community. And tonight, it was read and feed. Fans encouraged to bring a can of food or a children's book to help give to local charities. Pre-game pep rally, concert out of the student lot. Fairmont State won an award for their community outreach program last year in the West Virginia Conference and trying to do it again with tonight's festivity. That good vertical leap. Get up there, get your waist quarterback. Under duress, makes the position and gets it down the field. That really Kids getting it done in the classroom and out of the community as well. We saw them out and about this week trying to drum up some support. And then the read and feed tonight with cans and books for charities around here in the Fairmont area. Been a great success. Well, it has. We have a community service that we have our kids do, you know, whether they ring the bell at Christmas time or they go read to the community uh, high schools and junior highs or collect food like we did tonight and collect books. And we think that's part of it. You know, to be a, a Division II athlete, you got to be able to do a lot of different things. And one of them is to give back to 
the community, and that's what we teach them here at Fairmont. We want them to give back. Well-rounded experience for these guys, and they're pretty good on the field as well. Rusty Elliott, Athletic Director here at Fairmont State, thanks for the time. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Halftime here at Fairmont, West Virginia. The Falcons and the Hilltoppers close here with the second half just around the corner from West Virginia on the NCAA Division II Game of the Week.